na pinili mong careless ang ang careless management because for the first time you had people actually asking you what you want. <laughs> Clarion. Yes, Paul. The controversial issue there is what you didn't say, which is your former management group small didn't ask you what you wanted. Am I reading it correctly? Tama po. Okay. Meron po kasing formula, you know, in okay. showbiz that has been working for the longest time with okay. all, you know, the most loved and popular celebrities. And it's been proven and tested and effective siya. And that's why the management always knew what's best. They were always presenting. We had this thing called Brand Essence where um, top researchers from the company would do an analysis of the essence of our being. And that would be presented to us. We think, and in that essence, basically, ang sinasabi nila sa tingin namin, dapat ito yung mga gawin mo. Dapat ganito lang yung mga sabihin mo. Dapat ito yung advocacy mo. Dapat, you know what works best for our branding and why people love us. They give us a whole analysis and report on that. It was always just presented to me. And I wasn't asked if this is what I wanted because it was the standard. It was what was being given to everyone. Did you disagree with your brand assets? Hindi po. Kasi, again, wala namang mali dun sa brand assets. Okay. Walang mali. And... It actually helped me. It helped me become the Liza Soberano that everybody knows and loves. But what was your wish in the context mm -hmm. of the brand essence? That it could have been a collaborative process. That it could have been a process na uupo kami and they asked me, what, how do you want to be known? Who okay. do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Let's go to a talk about money. Kasi napapag-usapan ito ngayon. I've read that... Ano ba talaga? Who, who, who were your managers? I mean, let's not talk about your present management setup. Dati, sino bang managers mo? Tito Oji, um, Tita Joni, she's my dad's cousin, first cousin, and Star Magic. Can you talk about commissions para klaro lamang? I mean, is it okay? Mm -hmm. Was 17? 30% po yung commission niya sa akin. My tita Joni was taking 20% and Star Magic was taking 10%. When was this? 2015 or 2016, sorry. From uh, the time it started until about 2015. Mm -hmm. So, 30% si Ochi, 20% si tita Joni, yes. and 10% Star. and Star Magic, mm -hmm. that's 60%. Ang 40% na pupunta sa iyo. And then, but eventually, because um, I also pay U.S. taxes alongside my Philippine taxes because I'm a U.S. citizen right. and a Filipino citizen. So my total take-home was around 30%. Right. And so my tita Joni started feeling bad for me that that was the situation. So nag-usap po sila ni Tito Oji na bawasan na lang yung commissions nila for me because they felt like I deserved more since I was putting in a lot of work. Um, and so eventually, naging 20% na lang po si Tito Oji. And si Tito Joni naging 15%. Tapos yung bawas niya was after Tito Oji would take his commission. And Star Magic? And Star Magic was still at 10%. Pero ang Star Magic po, hindi ko mukuha ng commission if it's um, money coming from ABS-CBN. So ang um, money po galing sa teleseries, sa movies, hindi po sila kumukuha ng commission. It's just from endorsements. You never complained? I never complained because yun po ang nasa kontrata. And you felt it was fair? Yes. Do you have a better financial arrangement than KLS? Yes. Because? Because my only manager right now in the Philippines is careless really? and they're taking the same amount really? that Tito Oji was taking and I have no one else taking anything from me. So my total take home now is 80%, which I think is fair. Before, my original setup when I was taking home 40% without minusing the taxes and everything, I, th I honestly felt that that was a little unfair. Kaya napag-usapan yung bringing down the percentages because 
Yes, they were working for me. Marami din pong ginagawa. Si Tita Joni, she served as my RM slash PA at the time. So, siya po talaga nag-a-assist uh, uh, nag po sa akin sa taping, sa lahat, lahat ng schedule ko, kasama ko siya. And, um, nung una, ang gusto niyang mabawasan si Tito Oji because hindi po siya pumupunta sa tape. So taping, hindi po siya pumupunta sa endorsement shoots. He would book the jobs for me. He was negotiating. He was negotiating. So she felt it was fair for him to lessen his commissions. But then they ultimately agreed na pareho na lang sila. At napag-usapan ito ng mabuti? Napag-usapan po ng mabuti. Uh -oh. And that carried out from 2015 till present. All right. Nabasa ko rin na in the last two years, correct me if I'm wrong, ay hindi na kumukolekta ng komisyon si Tito Oji mo. Is that right? Is that wrong? May tapo ka ni Tito Oji mo. Nabasa ko rin na in the last two years, correct me if I'm wrong, ay hindi na kumukolekta ng komisyon si Tito Oji mo. Is that right? Is that wrong? It, it's not right. That's incorrect. So, hindi totoo ang galita nito? It actually hurts me that he's making up those lies about me because... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's actually... Dani, I paid for... I feel like he's trying to make it seem like I wasn't profitable in the past two years that we were working together. When he knows the truth, he knows my pains, he knows the things that I felt were the things that were mishandled and stuff like that. So it's kind of unfair that he's, I feel like he's trying to tarnish my name. And he knows. Like, I don't want to bring this up, but he still gets commissions from some of the endorsements of mine, like, that ha were still fell under the time that I was under contract with him, even though he has no more obligations. We, we told him that he has no more obligations towards me in those endorsements. Literally last month, we gave him a paycheck for an endorsement that was renewed before our contract ended and kahit na wala na po siyang ginagawa for that we can't wait in this commission because that's what's right i wouldn't breach my contract so that was the last time you paid commission to your tito Oji. he's going to get another one this week okay i'm sorry to have asked you that question yeah it's okay i'm i'm, I'm sorry may tampo ka ni tito Oji. Explain that. Ipaliwana mo sa akin. Because natapos naman po yung kontrata namin ng tama, ng maayos, ng hindi po kami magkaaway. Super nagkakaintindihan po kami. Ang pagkakaintindi ko po, supportado siya sa lahat ng gusto ko. Ako din naman po, ganun towards him. Nag-usap kayo ng maayos. <laughs> Nag-usap po ako, nagpaliwana po ako ng maayos. Five months before my contract ended with him, dahil naba bring up na po niya, like in passing, na kung magrerenew ka na sa akin, kanto na lang yung commission na kukuwain ko sa yun. I felt out of respect that I needed to let him know what my plans were, and I told him, "Nang maayos, hindi na ako sa kanya, Tito Oji. I'm grateful for you. I'm so thankful for everything that." I've achieved and experienced because of you and your guidance, and I will forever hold in my heart the lessons that you have taught me. It will forever be a part of me. Sinabi ko yun sa text ko sa kanya. Five months before your contract ended. Yes. And then? And sinabi ko sa kanya, but by the time that our contract ends, hindi na po ako mag-renew. And inexplain ko po kung bakit. Sinabi ko, um, we've been working together for 11 years now. I was signed to a 10-year contract with him. Um, and not for anything. I, it's not because I didn't like yung pinagsamahan namin. 
hindi po ako naging masaya sa career ko, it's because I want growth. And I believe that I can find that by working with other people, by learning things from other people as well, by taking on new experiences. And super, like, nung una natakot po ako sabihin sa kanya yun kasi I didn't know kung paano niya itatake yun. Pero yung response niya towards that message was very good. He was very supportive and very understanding. So, ngayon, nagtatna po po ako sa kanya kasi even a few weeks ago, before ko nirelease po yung vlog ko, actually, nung linakout ko yung social media ko, nag-message pa po siya sa akin, parang sa akin, mm. may tumutulong na ba sa'yo to get your social media accounts back? Kasi akala niya na-hack ako. Mm. So, we were okay. So, I don't understand why he is choosing to fight me. It feels like he's trying to fight me or trying to ruin me when I never said a bad, a single bad thing about him. But why do you say he is fighting you or trying to ruin you? Because he's saying so many things that are untrue. Like? Like, the two, for the past two years, he didn't push up the commission. That just makes me look... It makes me sound even more ungrateful to the people na hindi naman nakakaalam kung ano yung nangyayari sa loob. He's calling me ungrateful when he knows very well how grateful I was to ABS-CBN. Na kahit wala akong kontrata sa kanila, I was doing so much work for them. I was supporting them. Nung na-shut down yung ABS-CBN, I was one of the artists that rallied alongside them because I didn't think it was fair na mangyari yun sa lahat ng employees nila na nakakasama ko sa taping every day. I didn't think it was fair for them to lose their jobs. He knew how grateful and thankful I was to everyone. And, alam, siya po mismo nagsabi, masunurin ako, mabait ako na bata.